What's up guys, live here with Pro Play Games and we got Frazier's deck profile a little bit delayed from ARG Springfield. What were you playing? How was the event? Uh, I played Metal Foes at that event. Uh, it was kind of like the first event where Zulu, I think, was legal. Um, I played Metal Foes because I liked the idea of counter not letting you get killed by Slumber, which was huge at that time. And also just because Karen is still Karen. And I learned about the Coach King Bear deck from like Japan. So I just wanted to go out and try that out. And I ended up going like 701 and uh, it was pretty good. It was a good deck. That's also the infamous Peter feature match that happened at that event. Oh, the Peter Shane. Yeah, so you guys can go watch that if you haven't seen it already. I'm pretty sure everyone's seen it. But uh, anyway, let's get to the deck profile. So What place did you get? Oh, I ended up getting top 16. Top 16? Yeah, right, I lost cool. top 16. So, All right, let's check it out. Yep, so here's a. Uh, Four of the best card in Metal Foes. It used to be the best card in the game, but now that's kind of like Maxi's place. But yeah, you know, you know, this is like staple. Um, three of every single Metal Foe that you can play. Uh, two Archman Eccentric, three Rat. Uh, I don't know about like I, I play. I also play like the Terra Top engine, and uh, I realize that it's kind of not that good in Metal Foe because just when you get Maxi'd. Um, you don't have real traps to fall back on like the, like the zoo deck does. So like a lot of times you end up you end up getting like destroyed and it's like they went first. So I really don't like this anymore. But uh, this week we're getting the uh, boa baboon or whatever it's called. I think it corrects the problem with playing terror top. So we'll see we'll see how that goes in uh, the UDS at Vegas this week. So this this kind of still relevant because I'm probably playing metal phones for that. Um, two maxis. Uh, obviously this is the best card in the format right now. It's outrageous. They probably should do something about this, but this is just the best card right now. Um, this guy just to search off a Brawl Bowl and low scale, and the deck is lacking in low scales. Uh, this guy was good at that event, but he actually sucks knowing the substitute combo now. Um, he draws three and burns your opponent when you overlay for the Giant Trainer, but you have to use your normal summon and you can't Dagoose Thermal that turn, so it's just actually inferior in every possible way to playing substitute and the uh, Lunar Light Monster. Uh, and I play one Gofu and one Luster, just so that like I have an option to synchro summon. So my deck can do like everything. It can fuse, exceeds, synchro, and pendulum summon. So when people bury me, a lot of times I would just go like, okay, I can go this route or this route, so I can switch it up. Uh, these are both really good at the event. Uh, one of the things you can do with this is like painful decision, search out the three star, uh, play the three star, pop it, get a number one, and then pendulum out two three stars and go into the broker play. So that was kind of cool with Luster pendulum. Is what I do with it almost every time. Uh, one combination, two bear. Um, I would play three of this if I could go back. Uh, this card is obviously really, really good. I didn't like the card, but like I realized now you just have to play it. It's really stupid that this card can't be really chained to. So I think this is like an, an abomination to the game right now, but whatever. Uh, three of this to not die. It was really good at that event. Uh, probably not good anymore. Uh, I play one art, one painful decision. I didn't play two of this because I hate drawing uh, multiples of this card. and. Like, I just don't want to play cards that you can only have to play one of uh, per turn, unless it's like tanky, because like, that's a different level of power. Um, but yeah, I didn't want to have like two panels on my hand ever, so I just switched it up and played like one of each. And then the two fusions, and then we could go over to the side deck. I sided five different cards, Imperial Iron Wall and Different Dimension Ground. These are for the 60 card decks. I did not side Atlantia. I think the Atlantia sucks because you're not going to kill them if they play law bowling. Uh, they're going to mill Fairy Tale Snow, and you're going to land to them that turn, and then they're going to live when you try to kill them, so they're going to get another turn with the fuller stuff. Whereas I feel like with Imperial Iron Wall, uh, this is Lancey every turn, and they have to draw Twin Twist and they're playing 60 cards. So good luck drawing it out to this card, playing your 60 card deck. And if you do, I wasn't winning anyway. Like, Lancey wasn't going to change me winning that game. It's just... Uh, and this is just a, this is just game. This is actually just game. They can't play around it. There's nothing to do. If they night beam. I'll just activate a card and chain it. Like it, there's nothing to do with this. This card is just game. Uh, I play three of this card. Uh, this card's whatever. I'm pretty, pretty much ready for the mirror match, I guess. And like against uh, anti spell fragrance. Uh, three of this for the mirror match. This card was also uh, good in the mirror match, I guess, but wasn't really necessary outside of that. Uh, I guess it might be good against the invoke deck. I don't know. But yeah, retaliating. It also searches. Invoked well, wasn't legal for this event. No, or? it wasn't legal okay. for the event that I that, that okay. I taught with this. So like, okay. it can only hit metal foes. But I thought more people would be playing metal foes. So, okay. Then, I guess they weren't. Uh, and then three uh, regekis. So uh, that was it for the side deck. And then for the extra deck, this guy burns you for 2,400 usually and draws three cards. It's really broken. Uh, burns your opponent for 24. A lot of people thought that it was burning me, and then I like attack the game, and they were like. You're at 56, I'm at 8,000, I'm like, no, you're at 56. So, 
That card's good uh, when it resolves, but like it has its own problems. You have to normal summon. If you get Ghost Ogre, if you have two level eight gods stuck on the field, this is not good. Just don't don't play this ever again. Uh, I played this guy as an out. To uh, I didn't play an out to anti spell for against with my fours, so I had to play one with my threes. Uh, Dragon Star Roll, Invoker, and then I play one of each zoo. So I only do the combo once. I don't really want to Digusto Emerald, uh, but two rats back into my deck. So I avoid doing that as much as possible because it just I can't really do anything after I do my. I, I'll go summon all of these and I can't do it again. So it kind of sucks. So the best thing I could have probably done is play another Dragonet if I test it, but I did. So, but uh, yeah, you play a second Dragonet and you could actually put the rats back and uh, Dragonet again later in the duel. Uh, one against her, so that's my synchro. Uh, and then there's the fusions. So you just play two. Uh, this guy actually sucks. And I don't think he's necessary to play anymore. Like, you you don't really fuse with a 2,500 or lower monster that's not a pendulum monster. It, like, pretty much never comes up. I literally made it zero times at the event. I played Atlanta, and I literally... I, I didn't play... Like, I, <clears throat> I played Metal Falls for Atlanta, but I didn't play this card in Atlanta, and I never needed it either. So I, I think this is, like... Not necessary anymore in Yu-Gi-Oh. I think it's just like this had its time. It might be good this week. I'll test it for the UDS. But the last two events, it just not necessary at all. So uh, what I think about Metal Foes is it, it could be really good this week uh, for Vegas. But I don't know if the Baboon card is what it needs to win. I wasn't losing games in Atlanta because my hands were bad. I was just losing because like. Someone doing a zoo combo on you and having D barriers and strikes is just game against middle foes. It had nothing to do with like, oh, your hand, you drew like counter and stuff like that. So I don't know if it's going to fix the problem, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. I'll work on it and hopefully I can uh, take that tournament now. So. All right, cool, man. Uh, thank you. Um, appreciate the deck profile. Good luck uh, next week at UDS Las Vegas. Any shout outs that you want to give? Yeah, I want to give a shout out to Ultra Pro and PPG, my two sponsors. Uh, Ultra Pro's new Twilight Sleeves. Pick them up. They're actually amazing. They're not released yet. But uh, if you see us around at events, uh, especially uh, George, he might actually have them. So you might be able to trade for them um, until they actually release. But they're uh, black on the front, and then on the, when you turn them on the other side, they're white. They're actually really nice. They actually feel really nice, too. And they don't have the sticker, uh, the little circle sticker that they have usually on the front. They don't have that. They feel like Hyper Mat on the back. They're really, really nice. So Ultra Pro sleeves, uh, the Twilight sleeves are amazing. And yeah, like I said, shout out to PPG, best team, obviously. Like, yeah. Thank you, bro. You Appreciate it. Good luck in the next week, all right? Thanks.